approach it'll look uh, it looks like you'll go with uh, the same lineup you had against Edmonton. Yeah, it will uh, be exactly the same. Um, oh, Zach Smith did uh, skate today uh, and it looked like he's uh, getting better and uh, could be a possibility for uh, Thursday night. Cody didn't skate again today, but he is improving. So that's the update. What do you take from the Edmonton game that you bring into uh, tonight's game here on home ice? Well, we want to have another um, winning uh, outcome. So in order to have that, we've got to play a real strong game. Uh, watched the, the Sabres game last night. They, they really deserved to win. They played, they played New Jersey and outshot them badly. And uh, um, their power play, uh, uh, two power play goals against them uh, was the difference in the game. They scored kind of a funny goal from center ice. But, uh, um, you know, they really played a, a strong game. So, you know, we, we had uh, two memorable games uh, with them back to back at the start of the season. I think that was during the time. Um, uh, so we beat them 4-2 here, and then we went in their building, and they just completely waxed us. So uh, uh, that was probably our worst loss of, of the season, and uh, they had a, quite a night. Uh, Jason Palmville, uh, I think they were tribute to him that night. I remember that, and uh, he ended up scoring a, a, a big goal for them. I think it was the seventh or the eighth uh, one of the ones. Uh, but uh, apart from that, uh, you know, They've got a lot of talent on that uh, club. Uh, they've struggled in the second half of uh, the year. And uh, um, you go by what the, they did uh, last night, then they are playing pretty well. So, you know, we'll obviously prepare for them at their best. Mark, Mark what have you tried to change in the last few And what have you seen maybe the follow-up to that would be what have you seen change? Um, well, we haven't really changed a great deal other than tried to uh, have atmosphere and uh, um, attitude around the team be ones where they take responsibility for uh, making sure that they're ready, that they're taking uh, responsibility for playing the right way, that they're taking responsibility um, for the attributes that you need to be a successful player in the National Hockey League and therefore a, su a successful uh, team. Um, we've talked a lot, you know, truthfully, we've, we've, uh, we've talked a lot with them. We've got their, uh, their thoughts and, um, you know, I think more than anything, it's been a collective, uh, contribution, uh, led by a lot of the older guys on the team that have, have, uh, who know exactly what it's like when the team is playing good. Uh, so I think uh, that part has been, been good. We've tried to key on. A uh, couple of basic things like winning puck battles and uh, um, making sure that we adhere to how we play uh, when we don't have the puck uh, offensively. We've really tried to allow them to express their creativity. Um, and, you know, I think when you get the combination of the hardness and the determination that you get. Um, from trying to play the right way when you don't have the puck, that translates a, a little bit more, I think, in the offensive zone. So you'll see guys hopefully be more determined on battles. You'll hopefully see guys uh, finish plays uh, off or at least uh, show that determination in the offensive side of it. And you know, maybe in some ways they feel like they're, uh, they're doing it a little more easily, a little bit more... Uh, uh, readily and, and because they have control over um, exactly the type of effort that they put forth in order to uh, to create offensively. Pavel, I know you Pavel Brady you shot yesterday for a while, but what have you seen change in his game from the start? Because there's been so much that transpired, whether it's coaching or live mates or whatever, he's kind of been forced to... Yeah, I think growing up might be an easy way to put it, but I think it's just maturing and understanding that he's a really good player, uh, especially on our team, and he's a he's a great um, uh, player for for us to have the puck. So uh, you know if you don't want you don't want to rate your players as who has the best chance to score, but he's one of our top players uh, when you're talking about scoring. Uh, he does the right things around the net. He's very strong at taking pucks to the net. He's got a really good shot. 
Um, he's an above average playmaker. So all those offensive attributes are, are good. And I think, again, as I said yesterday, he he's recognizing now more that he's got more responsibility offensively. And part of being a responsible offensive player is not to take yourself out of the play maybe the way that he did uh, earlier in the year. We're, we don't want to take his aggressiveness away from him. I think it's a huge part of what makes him uh, a special player. Uh, I like the fact that he's trying to earn his stripes. Uh, I think you gain a lot of respect uh, from uh, people throughout the league because they see how hard he plays. Uh, but at the same time, we don't want him just to focus on that part of the game. Like There's much more for uh, for him in terms of responsibility right now, especially the amount of power play time he gets. He's playing four on four for us now. He was on in overtime uh, for us. Uh, um, in the last game and uh, uh, again he we put him in a lot of positions where he needs to make sure that he's got all of his uh, uh, all of his thought process leading in the right direction and again we 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 don't want to take any of his physicality or any of his aggressiveness away we just want him to recognize how important he is to us too um, and we're much rather see him be aggressive and stay uh, in the play than be aggressive and, and just uh, settle a score or take a penalty. And you talk about shooting with Tuck Martin. When you play the game, I guess, how tough is it at 19 to try and get that mindset of being a shoot first kind of guy? Uh, I, I think generally speaking, um, younger players want to serve older players. And that probably leads to trying to pass more than they shoot. Um, you know, there's an old saying in the league that the scorers get paid. Uh, it's not a great saying, but it's a saying. <laughs> um, and it is true. You know, you just look at the guys that, uh, uh, that, uh, that get paid in the National Hockey League. It is the scorers. And, uh, you know, so not that our, our, I don't think any of these young guys look at it and say, oh, God, I want to get paid. Uh, but, you know, there is a... a a real premium on scoring and in order to be a, a scorer you have to shoot uh, it's just a plain and simple equation that works has he developed the rate that you expected him to this year and as part of it maybe just circumstance because some of the offensive guys were here at the start of the year now uh, i think he's developed uh, at an above average rate um, for me you know having seen a lot of young players in in my time who are, are on the same plane uh, as him. Um, he probably was more of a guy that needed to get his uh, feet underneath him a little bit more. Uh, the natural um, skating and the natural um, just understanding of the game is not at his at the highest level that I've seen, but his improvement has been at the highest level uh, that I've seen. I've seen him um, become really good in his support on the rush. So how he plays on rushes now, uh, if you took it from the start of the year till now, yes, that, that definitely has improved. How he hangs onto the puck, his patience with the puck in the offensive zone has really improved. Uh, his uh, understanding of when to go to the net and, and uh, when to try to stay uh, in a position where he can come in on attack. Uh, that part has really improved him. He's always had that straightforward bull mentality to drive the net and go hard to the net. I don't think that's changed a great deal. That's part of his DNA and that's part of what makes him a really good player. But all those other attributes are parts that you know, they've developed this year and they've developed largely because, you know, he's made them develop uh, and also we've put him in the position uh, to allow him to have a lot of opportunities to experience that. All set, Joseph? Good.